Okay, this video will be just a quick one to follow up. How could you do the summarization with the ChatGPT Turbo API? So I'm going to show you, we've gone through two videos now of doing it with the standard one and just recapping there, you could do it either through the summarization chains, or you could actually just set up a large language model and pass it in. So we've got the exact same article about Coinbase that we had in the last video. So you can see the facts there and doing the fact extraction, we get that with the standard API. So with the ChatGPT API, there are a couple of different things we need to think about. One that this is built for chat. The big difference with this is you now have different sort of prompts and different inputs based on whether it's the part of the system, whether it's a user, whether it's the AI's response. That raises some interesting issues of that we need to think about, okay, how are we going to package this up? So if you look at just doing a standard chat with this, we just pass in a human message. And that probably has a system message on top of that. But just doing this, this is an example from their docs. We pass in a human message and you can see it does it quite nicely. So just doing a normal summary, the way I've done it is that you use the system message to set up the context of what the whole thing is about. So in this case, the system message is you are an expert at making strong factual summarizations. Take the article submitted by the user and produce a factual useful summary. Here, we're not using the user to give any instructions. The user is just going to be putting in the actual article. So the instructions are coming in the system message here. You can think of these as like placeholder tokens that tell the model different kinds of information. So a system message token tells it setting up the context, setting up the task, often that kind of thing. And then the human message is what you would expect to get from the user. So we take this, we pass in our article as the human message. So we've got these messages, this list of messages. And if we were actually doing it in chat, we would have system, human, AI response, etc. And this messages list can get reasonably long doing this. But here, because we really just want to translate one thing and then get it back, we're not actually setting this up as conversational chat. So we can just pass in the article there. And sure enough, it gives us a really nice summary back just from doing that. It's treated it like a, I guess in some ways you could think of it maybe treating it like a conversation, but it's eliminated the bits about the conversation because we've set the system to basically just take the article submitted by the user and produce a factual summary. Does it work for the bullet lists ones? Yeah, you can use it for bullet lists ones. Again, here you would change the system message your human message is going to be the article just like before, but the system message here is you're an expert at making strong factual summarization. So the same as before, but now extract the key facts out of this text. Don't include opinions, give each fact a number and keep them short sentences. And we can see that it gives back pretty nice information, not that different, not hugely different than what we were getting before. The thing to think about here, though, is that each of these models tends to a little bit of style or personality to itself. So you want to play around with the prompt. Sometimes you're going to have to change the prompt for the kind of article or the kind of documentation, et cetera, that you're summarizing. So that works. What about making the triples? So normally what I was doing to make the triples was I was passing in these facts. But one of the cool things with this is that we can actually just pass in, so we can do it like that, but we can also just pass in the article itself. By passing in the article itself, we can get triples. And th this is like doing it the old way with, this is doing one way. So here we're basically just passing these in, but we can also do it like this where we've got, so actually, sorry, that was just extracting the, the facts out there. And what I was playing around with was that you could pass this in. But actually with the chat GPT, it seems to get better response if you actually just pass in the full article. So rather than pass the list of facts, which would, you can play with this, you would just pass in the responses.content in here. But what I've passed in is the whole article. And you can see that it's given us number for each triple. It's given us the subject, predicate, object for each of these. So it would be pretty easy to even ask chat GPT to write a piece of Python code that it would extract these out into whatever format you wanted to use in your knowledge graph. Once we've got them in this kind of format, it makes it very easy to do. And looking at it, it, it seems to have done quite a nice job of doing it like this, which seems different than the previous one was doing. It's cut off a little bit at the end just because of the number of max tokens that I've set. So that's something that you could play around with. So as always, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. If this was useful to you, please click and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.